Hey guys, Darren here with Renaissance Coders, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to create a scene manager to control switching between scenes in your game. Okay, so here are the two scenes that I'm going to be switching through today. The first one has one cube on this plane, and the second scene has two cubes on the plane. So they're really basic, uh, but that's okay for this tutorial's purposes. Okay, so before we do any scripting, the first thing you need to do is go to the scenes that you want to uh, switch between, go to File, Build Settings, and click Add Current. You do this for both of your scenes, um, so go to your go to your second scene and do the same thing, and then you should see both of your scenes showing up here. Now there's two things to note. You have a name that you can see right here, this one is Scene 1 and this one is Scene 2. And the second thing to note is that these have indices. Okay, so this, this scene's index is 0, and this scene's index is 1. Now there's two ways between switch, uh, there's two ways to switch between scenes. One is via the name of the scene, and the other is via the index of the scene. Okay? So once you've added it to your build settings, we can go ahead and create the scene manager script. Okay, so let's, uh, let's go to our scripts folder. Let's create a new C Sharp script and we're going to call this scene manager. Okay, now the next thing you want to do is come up to, here let me switch scenes, so you'll want to come up and create an empty game object called game manager. Okay, so I'll delete this so I can show you guys how to do that. So you'll go to create empty and then rename this game manager. Once you have your game manager, you can drag and drop your uh, scene manager script onto it, like this, and now we are done with our game manager. So now the rest is going to be done through script, so we'll go ahead and open up our script here. Okay, so here's our fresh script. Now the first thing we want to do is um, note that whenever we switch between scenes, the hierarchy, the objects in the hierarchy, are going to be destroyed unless we tell them otherwise. So if we have a script that tells the um, user or receives input from the user to switch scenes, uh, when we're, whenever we switch the scene, that script is going to get destroyed. So we need to protect the script. We need to protect the game manager from getting destroyed. Okay, so this is how we do it. Create a static instance of your script, say static scene manager, and call this instance. Then we're going to create our start event function code. And what we do here is first check to see if instance is not equal to null. So we'll say if instance is not equal to null, then we're going to do something here. Else, we'll do something here. OK, so if instance, basically what this is saying is if the instance exists, we want to destroy it because um, we want to be able to have the same instance of our object. We don't want to be duplicating any more objects, uh, any more game managers. We want one game manager. Okay, so if our instance is existing currently, we need to destroy it. So we'll say game object dot destroy game object. Okay, so if our instance um, if our instance doesn't exist, then what we want to say is game object dot don't destroy on load game object okay so we don't want to destroy this game object on load and and then the next thing to do is set instance equal to this so we're setting it equal to this current instance okay now once we do that we're going to add the code that receives input for switching between scenes so what we're going to say is if input dot get key up so if input dot get key up, uh, I'm going to say key code dot um, keypad one. Okay, so this is going to be the input on our um, numpad if you have one. You can set this input to anything, uh, but I'm just going to use the numpad for my inputs. And now for switching to the second scene, I'm going to use keypad two. Okay. Now within this first if statement, if um, if this key is registered to be coming up, then what we want to do is say application dot load um, load level. 
Now by using load level, uh, we can either pass it an index or we can pass it a string. I'm going to pass it the string. So my scene uh, one is called scene one. And I'm going to copy and paste this code right here. Only if I press keypad two, I want it to load scene two. Okay, so that's all we have to do with the script. Let's go back to Unity to see if it works. Okay, so I'm running it and I press two and it switches to that second scene. Now, the thing that we wanna note is that our game manager, if you look at the game manager over there, um, whenever I switch scenes, it still exists. All right, so let me show you what happens if we don't have that uh, code right here. So if this if this code isn't here, I'll show you what happens. I'll go ahead and comment this out. Okay, so we're on our first scene and our game manager is existing in our hierarchy. But when I switch scenes, so if I go to scene two, my game manager no longer exists in my hierarchy, therefore I can't there's nothing listening for input to switch back to the other scene. Okay, so this is a neat little trick. If you ever have a game object that you don't want to destroy um, during scene switching, that's what this code does right here. Okay, guys, that's going to wrap things up with this tutorial. I hope you guys learned uh, how to get your scene switching working. Um, I hope it got working for you guys. But other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.